uh, what a petty sight. One would have expected that the human race would know better than walking out in the cold like this. But I guess I was wrong. Hmm. Let me... Let me have a look at you. Hmm. Aren't you a fragile little thing? No wonder that you couldn't deal with the cold. I guess that's why you passed out. Uh, but still, it's your own fault that you went out into a snow blizzard. What would bring such a fragile little thing out here? Uh, I know I'm going to regret this, but it would be the first time. Uh, let's, let's get you somewhere warm. Hmm, took you long enough to wake up. <laughs> hey, calm down. You don't have to be scared. Uh, calm down. One question at a time, okay? Who am I? I... I don't go by a name like you humans. But you kind of have referred to me as the Ice Queen. So... I guess you can call me that. Yes, I'm the Ice Queen. And this is my castle. I brought you here after I found you in the Snow Blizzard. And just to let you know, I have removed the weapons you had on you. I can't risk that you would kill me. I'm sure you understand. Good. Now, I want to ask you a question. What is your name? Human? Huh. That's unique. But again, I'm not very accustomed to your ways of living. Not anymore, at least. So, I assume that I would know if it's unique or not for you humans. Hmm, if you have more questions, human, you only have to ask. You don't need my permission to speak. <sighs> to be completely honest with you, I am not sure why I saved you from the blizzard. Based on your appearance, I assumed that you were harmless. Until I found those daggers on you when I brought you inside. You only have them for self-defense. Fair enough. But I can't take any risk with you having them. You are not the first human that I have encountered. No, you're not. And I'm sure you won't be the last one either. For millennia, humans have gone out of their way to claim my life. Each time they failed. And so, they send new warriors to claim it, which I won't allow to happen. <sighs> I am not sure. I wish I knew why they would go to such length, to sacrifice their own lives, and for what? To see me take my last breath? Money? Fame? Who knows? Which leads me to my next question. What brings such a fragile little thing such as self up here to mountains? Are you not aware of how dangerous it can be up here in the mountains at this time of year? Huh. I didn't expect that. I thought you humans were more simple than that. I guess I was wrong. Tell me, why is it that you can't go back home? Uh, wait, really? I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear. I, I know how it feels to be shunned away by your loved ones. 
I'm way more familiar with that than you would realize. Indeed, I, I once lived among you humans. I was seen as nothing more than a simple tavern lady. <laughs> Why so surprised? Don't you think I'm capable of working in a tavern? <laughs> uh, you say something there. I would be more than capable of keeping the drinks cold then. Um, what happened? It really is a long story. <laughs> uh, I, I guess you're right. It's not like you can go anywhere where the blitz is still howling outside. Where well, well, it all started with me wanting to find my place in this world. Where that place would be, I wasn't sure. I was very naive back then. I thought that you humans were simple-minded creatures, that you would mind me living among you. So I traveled around until I came across a village. A small one at that, but yet very peaceful. So I decided to make it my home and getting to work in the local tavern. Everything was going very well for a long time. I got to meet some very nice humans and I got to know your customs more. Until one day, a stranger came into the village. I didn't pay attention to him when he first came into the tavern, but he for sure noticed me and he screamed, Monster! Everyone was confused, me included, but he continued screaming it while pointing in my direction. Before I knew it, he pulled out a dagger and attempted to attack me. I didn't know what to do, so I used my powers to prevent him from hurting me. That might have been my biggest mistake. After the dusk of the magic ceased, all I could see was the horrifying looks on their faces when they realized that I wasn't a human after all. Even my friends looked at me in fear. I... I was scared and started to run. The people from the village attempted to chase me down. But I was able to escape up to the mountains. From that day forward, there would be a bounty on my head. There would be a reward to whomever was capable of taking my life. So there you have it, the reason why I'm careful regarding you humans. After that day I realized that you may be too simple minded to actually allow something such as myself to live among you. That was maybe too much to ask of you, but there's nothing to do about that now. I... I'm actually surprised to hear you say that, but... Really, you don't have to apologize. I'm not blaming you for what happened back then, but that experience taught me that I need to be more careful when it comes to interactions with humans. I'm never sure if someone just wants to take my life or actually want to get to know me for me. You can say that. There has been some humans that have attempted to deceive me. Saying that they wanted to become my friend, but yet, they, as everyone else, had ill intent towards me. But I'm not surprised, really. Humans have a tendency to fear what they find abnormal or strange, since they never take the time to actually learn. I never wished harm upon anyone, nor would I want to hurt you humans now. But if anyone would attempt to hurt me, I won't 
hesitate to defend myself. Which is what I have done since that horrendous day. What happened to the people that came up here? I did what I had to do to save myself. Um, no, 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 no. I didn't kill them. I, I can assure you that. I used my magic to conceal them in a ice barrier. It won't hurt them, nor will they ever die inside of it. Yes, I can lift the spell over the ice barrier, but I'm not gonna do that. Why not? They came here to hurt me, to take my life. What makes you think that they will change their mind if I lift the spell? I'm sorry, but I can't take that risk. Why, why am I telling you all of this? Well, simply because of two things. One, if you would attempt to take my life, you would have done so already. Second, it's actually nice to have a conversation with someone again. I've kind of missed that honestly, and you seem trustworthy enough. You can say that. It can get quite lonely up here in the mountains. I... I miss the friends that I made back in the village, but there's not much to do about that now. How long have I been living here? Um, like I said earlier, I have been living here for millennia. So even if I wanted to reunite with my friends, they passed away a long time ago. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can only hope that they got to have the life they always wanted. I can't wish for anything more than that, really. Yes, I am not angry at my friends for what happened. I have moved on from that, but... It seems like society hasn't when it comes to me, but that is my burden to bear. Is there something you can do? Uh, wait, what do you mean? <sighs> you're, you're too kind, dear. But unfortunately, there's nothing to do about this now. As long as I live, there will always be men that will fear me. Which is something I just have to live with. You don't? Hmm. Is that really a statement that you can stand for? Hmm, that's true. I could have concealed you like everyone else. But like I said, you seem harmless enough. And after getting to talk with you... I feel like I can trust you, for now, that is. I hope that you can respect that I am still a little hesitant, so I won't give you any of your weapons quite yet. I'm glad to hear, but I can assure you that you will get your weapons when you decide to leave after the lizards have calmed down. Of course. Like I said, I wish no harm upon any human, and I see no reason for keeping you here when you are not planning on taking my life. So whenever you want to leave, I won't stop you. Wait, what did you say? Say that again. Um, you're... You're joking. You... you can't be serious. You wouldn't want to stay here... with... me? No. No, you can't be serious. Why would you want to stay? You could be in great danger if you stay. 
what if there would be more warriors that would attempt to find me and... Um, yeah, I I get that. Um, don't, don't get me wrong. I believe you're more than capable of defending yourself. But I... I would feel horrible if you got hurt because of me. Of course. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Uh, um, uh, I, I guess you're right. You're responsible for your own life and safety. Very well. You're more than welcome to stay here. You're very welcome there. It's gonna be a transition to not be alone in the castle. But I think I'll manage. <laughs> hmm? You want to ask me something? Um, of course. Um, ask away. You... You want to give me a name? Uh, really? Well, yes, I used to have a name back when I lived in... You know, but it's so long ago that I can't remember it. <laughs> uh, you don't cease to surprise me there. Hmm. Very well. If you'd like to give me a name, be my guest. Uh, Eleanor? Oh, that's actually really nice. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it just to be nice. I really like it. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. I really didn't expect this when I first found you, but it was a pleasant surprise nonetheless. Well, what I mean is, you seem very kind and understanding. It's a nice change of pace, really, to not be worried. Uh, um, uh, wait, did, did you just say what I think you said? Uh, I, um... Uh, I... Uh, th thank you. I haven't gotten a compliment like that in ages, honestly. No, 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 no worries. I just didn't expect you to say that you thought I was beautiful. You're just being honest. <sighs> uh, well, I appreciate your honesty. I have to say that I would be lying if I didn't find you attractive too. <laughs> You're very welcome, dear. I'm sure we will get to know each other quite well over time. I, I hope that you don't mind that. Good. Now... Why don't I show you around in the castle? I'm sure you would like to know the place a bit more. Great. Let's be off then. I can't wait to show you my favorite rooms. Mm-hmm. <laughs>